Hello, my name is Adam Scorey and I uh, would like to show you about how you can order um, an online frame print through the One Vision Imaging website. So in front of me here, I've already logged into my account as you will have done and I'm going to click on framed prints. Here we go. Uh, we've got some basic information about our prints with our parent architecture down here. A little bit of history of printing and some interesting facts and figures, things like that. Um, and then a couple of buttons to start building your framed photo. So first of all, uh, we've got our frame selection. We've got uh, roughly about 100 frames on our website and we're replacing quite a few of those shortly. So here we go. Um, I'm going to pick a thick swept black. Uh, this is a nice um, uh, sort of medium range frame, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Here's an idea of the profile and um, you know maximum recommended sizes and all sorts of bits and pieces like that. So once I've chosen my frame, um, I will click next. And then I can go in and choose the size that I want. I'm going to go for a portrait image here. I'm going to go for, let's try 1824 or 2024. Here you can see you get some representations uh, of the sizes themselves. So and on the right hand side, what you can see is a preview. So the next thing to do once you've chosen the, uh, the ratio that you would like, and obviously you can choose here, landscape, portrait, square and panoramic. And then you get various different layouts, including our multi aperture options here which obviously there are quite a few so I'm happy with my uh, my version there in fact I think I'm going to go for that one I think that will suit the picture a little bit better so that's a 2024 print with a 1620 image uh, inside it and here you can see a bit of a summary so um, I'm now going to go next and here is where you can actually choose your going to go choose your options things like um, whether you want mounts and the image and cropping the image so uh, I'll go to my collections, which I've got lots and lots and lots to choose from. And let's go to uh, a friend of mine, Saskia Lawson. She's a brilliant fashion photographer. And let's go with this one. It's a lovely, bright, colourful image. Um, what you always have to do is check the crop, and that's pretty much bang on. I'll just lift that up a little bit, as you can see there, just to make sure I don't crop her head off. It's colour. You can rotate if you want to, if you want to do a, um, for various um, multiple aperture options. If you want to move them left or right, you can rotate all of the images. There's plenty of options to do. So I click OK. And what I get on this right hand side is a summary of uh, the options that I've chosen. So the size, the layout, uh, the images, um, top mount. I haven't chosen my mounts yet. And, and there's your price. So uh, I've cropped it as well. I'm very happy. So I go to next. And here I can choose my mounts. So I'm going to go for double mounts on this particular example, but you can choose triple. Um, and I'll check the top mount first, and I'm going to go for a bright white. You'll see quite a selection there. And underneath, I'm going to go for a black, because I think the image really, really suits it. So um, that gives you a price now with the updated uh, top and bottom mounts. And I want to just check it um, to make sure I'm happy with the selection and the cropping and things in a bit more detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the wall color to white. And then I'm going to click on zoom, but you can click on the image as well. But I'll click zoom. And what happens in front of me is I will get a, a visual representation of the, for, the frame, the molding, uh, frame molding, the... Uh, and the uh, window mounts themselves and I can check now this is to scale so it's a very important part this is how your image will look obviously full size but the the frame widths and the the, the widths of the window mounts are all to scale we spent a lot of time developing this and uh, some very very clever IT people to to generate this very powerful preview so I'll close that once I've checked it and then the next thing to do is essentially order it and add in any extra options so if we click next here you can choose the different glazing options. Standard acrylic is fine for certainly for what I want for this one. Um, you can have non-reflective, um, but the image does, as it suggests there, it can with some images uh, soften them up, uh, off a little bit um, and uh, they lose a, just a tad of vibrancy. Uh, pang uh, packaging options, standard or presentation box, of course that's very much up to you. Um, and then simply you can choose the quantity or add it to the basket. So if we go and add it to my basket, I've got lots of options in there already of some frames that I've made earlier. If I just scroll down the bottom, I shall see 
the detail of my print. And here's a, a summary and you can go in and edit it or you can delete it off. Um, if you've got a voucher code, if we've got an offer on, here is the place to put that voucher code and apply a discount. Um, you can delete off various different orders and, and bits and pieces like that. Uh, but when you're happy, all you do is you click next and that will confirm your order and you can choose whether um, you can pay direct for it or if we've got a card on account. And that, in essence, is as difficult as it gets to create a framed print with our online uh, service with One Vision Imaging.